Hey guys, welcome to the K-12 Kitchen. Why do we call this show that? Because we will be doing all of our biology labs here in my kitchen. So in today's episode is your first lab, Unit 1's Microscope Lab. This lab has a little bit of advanced prep, so make sure you open up your lab, lab document and read it before you get started. I've already set up my brine shrimp in some water with a dropper, and I've been aerating them or adding some bubbles to them for about 24 hours. I've also set up my hay infusion soak in just a regular Tupperware container. This is an optional step in this microscope lab that you do not have to do. It's also not on the lab report that you'll hand in in the drop box. So put those aside. For this lab, what you'll need is your microscope, your microscope light, two different sets of lenses, some water, which I've put into this 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, but you can just use a regular cup or glass as well, microscope slides, slide cover slips, another dropper for the water, your K-12 prepared onion root slide that is protected inside this plastic cover, some forceps, and your microscope orange wipe. So, this lab has two parts. Part one is simply looking at the prepared onion root slide. In order to get your microscope set up, you'll have to take it out of the box, make sure the lenses here are at the lowest level, and make sure it's raised all the way up to the top. If you go too far, just give it a little gentle tap, and then it'll go back down. So raise all the way to the top. Now, in the box, your microscope has this little mirror. We want to use the light, so you'll pull out the mirror, plug in the light, press the on switch until you see the LED light light up, and make sure your diaphragm is all the way open to the most open circle. So we'll turn that until it's all the way open. All right, so to look at your onion root slide, it's already prepared, so all we need to do is slide it right here onto the stage, clip it down with some stage clips, and make sure the onion specimen is right under the light. Next, we need to look through an eyepiece. So take out the plastic piece that comes in your box and put in a lens. I'm gonna choose the 10X lens first. Then all you have to do is look down, make sure your light is shining onto your specimen, onto your slide. Line it up a little bit with your eyes before you look into the eyepiece. Then in the eyepiece, Gently move this adjusting rod until you can see your specimen. Then, once you see something, start going up in magnification. So you started at 4x, maybe move to 10x next. Shine the light, observe what you see. On your lab document that you're going to submit, make sure you're filling in questions one through three and drawing a sketch for number four. Once you've finished with your prepared root slide, bring your microscope all the way up, go ahead and undo the stage clips, and go ahead and put this microscope slide back. We're gonna use this in a different lab later on this year, so try not to lose it or break it. Next, we're going to prepare our wet mount slide for part two. So to prepare our wet mount slide, you need a clean glass slide and your brine shrimp. These guys should be hatched already and they should have been sitting in a well lit area for about 24 hours. Placing your slide on your countertop, grab a little bit, maybe a drop or two of brine shrimp 
and place the drop right on to the slide. Then, using your forceps and a cover slip, gently place a plastic cover slip on top of the brine shrimp. All you want to do is take your cover slip and just drop it on. You don't want to squish them down. Then you can take your wet mount slide, load it into the microscope the same way you did the prepared slide. Make sure you're all the way at 4x first. Make sure your light is shining up. And adjust until you can see your little baby shrimp. Once you see them at 4x, increase your magnification to 10x. And if you can still see something, increase it even more. Once you've completed this lab, you can rinse off your slide and cover slip, a little bit of water, let it dry or dry it with a paper towel. And if you want to do the optional hay infusion, that'll be next. So the hay infusion, you can, once again, either use a dropper and pull some of this water, or you can load a small piece of hay right onto your slide using your forceps. it right there in the middle of the slide and then just use some plain tap water and add a drop of tap water or two drops right on top of that hay and then once again grab a cover slip and your forceps just drop it onto the little piece of hay and set that in your microscope. If you guys have any more questions, make sure you email me at kspurgeon at insightpa.org before this lab is due, or write me a note or question in the raise your hand section of the OLS. Happy labbing, and I will see you all soon.